Hello, welcome to Gloucester. You may have noticed that this course is uh, laid out on a hill. So we get a few, um, few slopes to deal with in our round of golf. Let's go play a few shots, shall we? We start on the first, with the fairway slopes right to left. It doesn't look very steep, but it's a fair bit steeper further on. And we can use this slope to keep the ball on the fairway by hitting it up the right. That wasn't my finest drive and it's not gone particularly very far. But it has rolled round to the middle. Ball's above the feet so we definitely need to aim a little bit right to allow for the movement, the, the little bit of a draw that we're going to get with the ball above our feet. Perfect. Third is uphill with a nasty front bunker. You have to carry everything and to be able to carry everything you need to know how far you hit the ball through the air with your average shot. It's only when you get up here on the green and look back you suddenly realise why you're in the front bunker not in the heart of the green behind you. You really do need to work out how much you need to club up when you're going uphill and take the right damn club. Well we've got as far as six now, short par five, dog leg right, but it goes in the same direction as the first so fairway slopes right to left. Now we don't have to do anything particularly special here, most of us hit the ball left to right so we can hit it into the slope kill it, let it release down the fairway. Where it gets a bit awkward is if you've hit a short drive, you've now got the ball above your feet and you want to hit that fade left to right into the green. So it's a bit of a tricky hole. Let's see if I can actually put this one down the fairway, shall we? You may have noticed recently I keep putting it in the trees on the right whether I'm afraid of the trees on the left or not, I don't know. But that makes a nice change. Well, I haven't been hitting many perfect shots recently, but that was one of them. Five or six yards through the air, I've obviously landed into the slope and it will now kick off, run across the fairway. So by hitting the perfect drive and using the slope, we'd slap bang in the middle of the fairway. This is a bit of a flat lie, but it just goes to show if you do it right, you've got an iron into a short par 5 and two putts for a bird. I've laid up on 8 today, can't get over the pond. The ball's below my feet, so the ball's going to move to the right when I hit it. But when it lands, the fairway runs to the right, so the ball's going to go to the right. The thing we need to avoid on the right is a dirty great big oak tree. So you've got to change the point where you want the ball to land. You don't want it to land in the middle of the fairway, do you? Up the left edge. So change your aim to accommodate what you think the ball will do off the lie and what the fairway is going to do once you land. So here I'm actually aiming at the left rough. I know the ball is going to fade because it's below my feet. Then we can land on the extreme left side of the fairway and allow for the bounce and the run and not get stuck behind that oak tree. So that ball has gone right 12 yards from where it landed. Right, number nine, the par three. Now there's a big bank down from the car park to the green on the right. So if we miss it right, that bank will help us get onto the green, won't it? Well, not always. In the summer when it's rock hard, vertical energy gets turned into horizontal energy very quickly. And the ball's flying across the green, out of control, down the bank, and now you're, uh, you're chipping up. 
So be aware of banks around greens like this one. They're not always friendly. Poor shots on this par three get punished. The green's large enough, so don't bother with the bank. Just go straight down the middle of the green. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Number 11, the par three. It plays roughly 175 yards, depending on where the yellow tee is. But it's up there. And for me, that means a free hybrid. I got to add on two clubs to get up here reliably to give myself a chance. The white tees, which are down there, more or less the same distance, maybe three or four yards longer, but from down there, it's a five wood. So always be aware of your ability against a slope like that. Club accordingly, or it'll all end in tears. The T is a fraction forward, so I'm going to try the 4-iron instead of the hybrid. And I don't mind coming up a little short, because then I'm chipping up, as opposed to putting back down this severe green. And sure enough, I'm a little short. We go under 12, and now we're aiming at somewhere where we don't want the ball to be. We want to catch the slope and have it run round to the right. And just for a change, I absolutely nut it dead straight. So now I've got an eight iron below my feet. So we have to aim left to allow for this. But being the rough, the ball comes out a bit dead. But we make it onto the dance floor. Now what goes up must come down. This is 15. We got quite a big drop to the fairway. I aim well left because I want to be on the left side of the fairway. But when you've got a lot of hang time, any mistake is amplified because the ball's in the air for so much longer. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So let's have a bit of fun on 17. Well, I doubt there's another hole in golf that looks like this. And again, hang time is an issue. But if you hit it in the right place, it'll run all the way to the bottom in the summer. Before I go, down slopes. Now I've hit my drive all the way to the bottom here, so I'm not on one. But I'll get on a slope. And you've got to get into the slope. You've got to go with it. You can't fight the slope, otherwise you're going to be hitting the ground behind the ball. And equally, you can't try and keep your balance. When you come through on a steep down slope, go with it. Step through if you have to. The most important thing is keep this chest over the ball and get this club head to chase down the slope. Don't try your normal shot where you're going to be finishing high you want to finish low as I say if finishing low means you do the Gary player step through then do it it's all about the contact with the ball not you attempting to keep your balance Ta -ra. <laughs>